Wait, plagiarism scandal? Hey, what's up guys? Rev here. If you've been on social media recently... Okay, Rev says Desu is generally... It gives me like a yellow flag for warning. Because the last video I saw this guy make was kind of silly, but we'll see. I'm sure you've seen the hype surrounding Tower of Fantasy, a Chinese MMORPG that finally had its global release yesterday. And since nobody hates Genshin Impact more than Genshin Impact players... <laughs> True, dude! True! Or at least this Genshin player. They have used this global release to declare that Tower of Fantasy will be the Genshin Impact killer. And while I think we all know how this will end for those people, these are just more signs as to how much attention Tower of Fantasy is receiving at the moment, and some of that attention, the bad kind. Now, there have been many complaints about Tower of Fantasy already. In fact, the other day I almost discussed some of the game's censorship practices, but those felt a little nitpicky, and some okay. of those concerns have been resolved. So this has been a very interesting two days of this game. ...with the global release. However, what you're looking at now is serious. What many have considered blatant plagiarism by its developers. And okay. we'll get into the details shortly, but with the global release of the game, this tweet from December of last year has gained a huge wave of new traction. In the tweet, this account from the animation uh, company Hooray claims that the preview trailer for Tower of Fantasy released in 2021 uh -huh. is very similar to one of their company's animated videos released in 2020. And you'll see the comparisons shortly, but let me just say, it's really bad. Like, indefensibly bad. So let's begin at the source. In 2020, the animation company Hooray released uh -huh. this video on YouTube, essentially celebrating their company and discussing their goals moving forward. And might I add, it was a really beautifully animated piece. Now fast okay. forward to 2021, a trailer is released for Tower of Fantasy on Billy Billy, which that original video has since been taken down. And since I will not be taking down myself for copyright, I will show you a few side-by-side -side screen caps from the two videos, and if you want to watch the full side-by-side -side comparison, use the link to this tweet in the description. Oh, bro, thank God I can watch it myself. Hell yeah, dude. That's it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Hey, right, yo, chat. Can I um, uh, can I copy your homework? And I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll change it a little bit so that way the teacher doesn't notice. <laughs> uh, bro, this shit is from fucking like a year ago, bro. Who cares? Hey, bro. Fuck it. Yo, you want to copy all of Dark Souls and put that shit in the game too? Because honestly, bro, I'll take that shit too. Hey, fuck it. I don't care. Hey, fuck them. Oh, no. Two corporations are stealing from each other. Oh, no. I don't care. Fuck it. Bro, ain't nobody bad at goddamn island. Genshin Impact ripped every single character's combat from Virgil from Devil May Cry. Don't care. Well, you do the same thing to FF14, PB. I don't care. Yeah, I don't fucking care, bro. Hold up. Tower of Fantasy. Anything else? But I don't bum 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 bum. But I don't bum 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 bum. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Tower of Fantasy to Max Ubasa. No. Why Tower of Fantasy failed on China? What? 
Halo Fantasy quickly become one of the most hyped game on 2022, currently uh -huh. gathering three times more viewers than Genshin Impact on Twitch. With For now. multiple big YouTubers also covering the game before it even released, I think you will be surprised that this game is actually not very successful on China, which is where the games come from. If you look at the popularity chart on Billy Games, uh -huh. which is sort of Play Store for China, you will see that Genshin is pretty much always on the top. I wonder By the why way, that the is. One is only there because the game will be released tomorrow i assume it will drop down very quickly after a while if you are curious about the game i will showcase it tomorrow on my channel it's a okay. uh, rather interesting wow. game. Back bro them titties ain't even that big there's no way there's no shot that game is carried by fan art and big titties if that's all they you got find tower of fantasy on the popularity chart you can see a lot of familiar titles such as arc knight azure lane minecraft bed grand order okay. onkai impact third and many other but tower of fantasy it's not found it's not even in the top 50. when you search up the game you will realize the downloads for tower of fantasy pales in two star comparison to big titles for example genshin has 189 oh, million three star <laughs> <laughs> okay. Million downloads and Tower of Fantasy only has 11 million. Arc Knight has 225 million. Honkai has 145. And Punishing Grey Raven has 70 million. This is weird because the game is not bad. So, what is actually happening here? In okay. order for me to explain what happened, we first need to understand this the social credit system. Wait, what the fuck? Huh? Wait, you, you need to do what? Social credit? What the fuck? Remember this meme? Wait, this shit's real? How could well, this have affected it at all? It's not really a meme because the social credit system does exist in China. It's a system that judge- And what, do they not have enough social credits to, to buy the matrices in game? That's your worth based on what you do. If you do good things, you get points. If you do bad things, you deduct points. Just like how the government judge the citizens, the gamers also judge the game. Not just the gameplay or graphics, but also the social responsibility. There is a nickname for Tower Fantasy in China. Tower Fantasy in Chinese is called Huanta, but the nickname is called Tota. I roughly translated it to Tower of Death. This comes what? from that one Tower Fantasy promotional video for Mero, which they steal Honkai Impact weapon asset, as shown here. Once they realize people are not actually stupid, well, they remove it. Hmm. Another one comes from them, there's yeah. an animation video made by a okay. small Japanese creator. As evidently shown here, you can see there's a lot of similarity. Nah, I mean, one has a puddle at the ground. And honestly, that Honkai weapon steal is probably just coincidence, you know? I, I feel like, you know, there's, there's, uh, you know, it's probably just coincidence, right, guys? Hey, 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 hey. Bro, I thought you said you were going to change the homework so the teacher wouldn't notice. It got on so bad that even the original uh -huh. creator tweeted a complaint on Twitter. And of course, Tower Fantasy apologized by blaming it on a third party. Okay, fine. Promotional video are typically outsourced. So they can blame it on third party. But what about that one time where they copy Genshin 5-star reviews using a bot? So what you're seeing... Wait, they copied Genshin's 5-star reviews using a bot? So that means that Genshin had a bot and Tower of Fantasy had a bot and they both copied each other? Here is the review for iOS for Tower of Fantasy. So before this happened, there is a very game-breaking bug happening on Tower of Fantasy, which makes okay. people review bombing Tower of Fantasy and made it go down to, I think, 3.1 rating. And yeah, it's pretty bad. But suddenly, the rating gone up to 4. And naturally, the people feel something is not right. And then they went on check the 5-star review. Guess what? A lot of review are pretty much done by bots, as you can see there is a cop. Hey, smart, dude. As if every company in the world isn't doing it's still bad. Don't get me wrong, it's still fucking bad. But let's just remember, you know, you know, you know, you know that Genshin Impact bots their shit. Bro, Genshin Impact bots their fucking reviews. They bought their fucking preferred creators. They bought their fucking Twitter. It is blatantly obvious. I mean, blatantly obvious. You think, oh, they would never do that. Yeah, true, dude. A Chinese billion dollar company would never want to make more money. You're right.
comma and a dot this is because it's made by bot which is why every single comment has this thing and why is it copied from genshin well this word is actually yoimiya in chinese and i didn't know tower of fantasy has yoimiya okay no, fine. No, maybe just... the bot is not made by the official maybe someone else made the bot just to screw tower of fantasy it is possible so let's leave that aside for now let's talk about in game so about this move i don't know if it's heavily inspired or straight up just they ran out of creativity guess what honkai has this move as well pretty much exactly the same except for a little bit of oh man dude oh tower of fantasy stole their attack animations from genshin impact that stole their game's concept from breath of the wild and the attack pattern and style from virgil for devil may cry 5 oh my god difference in the visual effect yeah i mean it's up to you there's also a lot of weapons have a lot of similarities in honkai is that copy or is it heavily inspired i don't know are they just lazy not making their own unique weapons i mean huh? it's up for debate there are also a lot of servers issues during the launch of the game they are like maintenance for every single day during the launch of the game there are game breaking bugs that i said just now that make the game Chad, i'm really not trying to be a copium tower of fantasy defender but this is also like every single mmo launch and also any bethesda game okay let's continue I i'm not seeing anybody say because the game's fucking bad so what i'm understanding is the tower of fantasy devs just steal shit from other shit that's good that way their shit is good uh and then sometimes their launches are bad but right now i, I we're two days into the launch and it's still good We've only seen like what one man the size of the galaxy game got 3.1 rating on the silly game store and i'm gonna slightly explain what the bug is and why a lot of whales actually left the game because of the bug okay this is a quite a long one so bear with me okay? i'm ready so the first bug happens i'm a whale let's see if i'll leave the game when people realize you can use another device to force login while you are completing a transaction on the first device so you can get double the currency you paid for this that sounds good to me method and then eventually people realize you can also use this method for dungeon reward as well so people start to get insane gear by just keep refreshing the dungeon by logging in from another device and you know in genshin you have this artifact system where you have a lot of variables so you can get like five lines of damage or you can get uh -huh. five lines of health well power fantasy have that too and people are using this bug to pretty much keep on resetting the stats so what happened is a lot of people get insane gear by very early game i mean people don't really okay. have to grind every day to get those artifacts that has the top tier stats because they can abuse this bug but of course tower wow what generous devs fantasy went on an emergency maintenance nah bro it was intended it's intended copium tower of fantasy is just super generous and the solution is to prevent you to log in on a second device if you already logged in somewhere else people who abused the bug before are banned not long afterward people realize another bug again which you can get unlimited ssr weapon so i wouldn't get into yeah this won't be a problem because uh, all tower of fantasy will have to do is just uh go ahead and steal another game security measures uh that way this game will be safe too yeah so they'll just copy uh they'll just copy somebody else's anti-cheat and then uh they'll be okay to how they do it basically they have something about messing with internet connection and the game client they could like claim the item and then turn off the internet connection and then after they turn back the internet connection they will have another ssr weapon something like that right so turns out some people started to have all the weapon without even paying for the game and of course all the whales are really angry because people are so generous spend money to pull but some sorry dude how do you fuck up that hard okay the evil player just got them for free but of course after tower fantasy found this out they do an emergency maintenance again they close their server down and then do a repair and you can kind of imagine what will happen here the whale are angry the players can't play the game because there's constantly maintenance i mean the bug of this game is very, very plentiful like they fix the bug but then after the maintenance is over people 
just found out another bug and they have yeah, that to sucks. emergency maintenance again. I mean, it's funny because let's, uh, let's hope that doesn't error, happen on global. Found out another way to dupe the fingers crossed over and over again, and people even start to use cheat engine to duplicate rewards. And you have so much bug that sure some people might get banned, but they use cheat engine to bug rewards, bro. How bad is the code to this game? Why don't they just steal someone else's good code and then just put like a spray paint over it? But there evidently some people just didn't get banned and enjoy all those free currency. And even mentioning the bug or whatever on the chat, the in-game chat, will get you a one-year meal. And their player just talking about it, not even like abusing the bug or anything. They got muted and they cannot talk in the game. A lot of people <laughs> just straight up disappointed in the game. Whales are not happy. They want a refund for the game because they spend money, but then this is what they get treated for. Some other guy don't even need to spend money. They get all the stuff. And yeah, the game has a lot of problems. During yeah, the game. okay. And that caused a huge wave of people pretty much just left the game. They make videos complaining about it. People okay. know about them and people are disappointed. Even not talking about these game breaking bugs, there are still a lot of minor bugs exist in the game, such as you can float by doing something i don't know and for the china version of the game currently there is a battle royale mode and yes yeah i will admit even though even the movement is still kind of buggy like the infinite climb controls double space w there is like a lot of janky shit that you can abuse but i actually like that because it removes a lot of shit that i don't like uh Ooh, okay, hold on, let, me continue, let me finish the video quick. Guess what? There are a lot of hackers in the battle royale as well. So leave the technical things aside. There is also a very fundamental design flaw of the game, which is the game auto being an MMO is actually quite pay to win. Now the pay to win aspect of the game is not very apparent, but the power creep on Tower Fantasy is actually very strong. Power creep might be fine for game like uh, waifu collectors or majority single player game, but it is not a very good thing to have on an MMO that have PvP, where That's true. Much strength is everything. And if you are a free play player and you want to keep up when they keep on introducing power creep, well, guess what? You cannot keep up. It's just impossible to keep up. But actually, the most important reason why Power Fantasy is not popular. Oh, okay. Well, this is also a little bit biased. So apparently, apparently, uh, for the PvP system that he's saying is completely pay to win, uh, it is 100% for open world pvp but for rank pvp apparently you just need one copy of each character that you plan on using and then it maxes your constellations and then also matrices don't apply to it uh so then i guess if the new character came out then you would have to get it if it came out but i guess the way to play as a successful free to play ranked player if you do want to be number one in the entire world without spending a single dime in the game which i'm still not even sure if there were rewards that are worth grinding in order to do so uh Apparently, you'll just need to get one copy of whatever the new power crept character is. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, there are some free to plays you can get lucky and get it. Uh, but yeah, there might be some light paid elements to PvP. But other than that, it's ranked. And I don't think any other version is pay to win. I don't think. Like, the overall PvP is pay to win for sure. The PvE is pay to win, but a free to play player can group up with the whale. So, you can kind of just get carried. But for ranked PvP, which I'm assuming is the only thing that actually matters. Uh, I have been told that it is quote unquote scaled, but for free play, you are going to have to get lucky. So yeah, I mean, it is pay to win, but I wouldn't say extremely pay to win. Look at Epic seven, bro. You need to spend like $200,000 minimum to keep up, but we'll see. We'll see how bad it is when we actually get there in game. I don't like taking other people's words for it. On China, it's actually because the game itself, the game actually pulled a lot of Genshin player toward it because it has a lot of similarity with Genshin. And believe it or not, they actually advertise themselves as the Genshin Impact Killer. I mean, the post is already removed because of how stupid it is. Once they realize they posted it, they also say it's like the game award winners, like, <laughs> Uh, a lot of controversy, but let's forget all about the controversy. Let's forget all about the bugs and the pay to win aspect of the game. The game is not polished. And I think this is actually the main reason why Tower Fantasy is not popular because 
This game is so What do you mean it's not polished? So similar to Genshin Impact and Genshin Impact has a huge player base and a lot of players from Genshin go ahead to try Power Fantasy realize wow Genshin is so much better they drop the game I mean Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Thinks that Genshin Impact has better combat than Tower of Fantasy Genshin Impact can't even program Venti's Tornado to pick up Klee's Bomb. Also, that's a single player game, and even the co op is bugged as fuck. Still, Genshin Impact can't even handle four players playing at the same time, let alone 50 that Tower Fantasy can do. What the fuck? Bro, is this sponsored by Goyoverse? Oh, what the fuck is this? This is crazy to me. No one of this video has no views, okay. And if you play the game, you'll realize the combat just feels cheap. The world is actually not- The combat feels cheap? What? Bad. I like the world in Tower Fantasy, but the combat just doesn't feel polished. The 2D character's design is also not great. I mean, I play a lot of gacha games, waifu games. A lot of games have fantastic art, but Tower Fantasy, I feel they lack- Okay. So here's the thing. So for Tower Fantasy Combat, I think the mechanics of dodging the enemies is very good. Like dodging the abilities, I feel like it's very good. Uh, for clunky combat, I think the only thing that would really make it way better is if it would show you the cooldowns of the weapon's abilities when you weren't in them. Okay, it's very hard to track your weapon's abilities when you're not using that weapon. From that, I mean, I don't really have, I mean, what are the other problems for the, with the combat? But TOF isn't as smooth as Genshin, this is true. Yeah, for combat, yeah, for sure. I would say Genshin definitely has the smoother combat. Uh, but also, Genshin doesn't have to rely on doing like worldwide PvP events and PvE events, so it's kind of a lot easier to make the combat smooth uh, when you can just mindlessly always hit dummy targets. I mean, the thing is, the abilities have to be polished to an MMO standard. Jen, am I, am I, Jen, am I being stupid? I, I feel like... Yeah, I mean, when you have to balance the combat around many other players in PvP and PvE, it's going to be a lot harder than to do that in an MMO than it is a PvE. Like, think about the combat in a God of War versus World of Warcraft. It's much, much, much different. I feel, I feel like that. I feel like that's just a really shit take. Like, I, I don't get why we're comparing this shit to Genshin. It's a single player versus an MMO. It's way different. Like, the combat, the combat is clunky. But to say, oh, it's worse than Genshin. Genshin only has to balance it for one thing. Tower Fantasy has to balance it for like the thousands of things. A lot. Yeah, let's let's do let's do why don't then why don't why doesn't Genshin Impact do a PvP event where we can fight each other? And then we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how good it feels. I feel like that, dude, that some of these comparisons are just so cringe, man. Just say Tower of Fantasy is bad by itself. Don't compare it to something else. It's insane. Or you can get Tower of Fantasy to steal it from another game. And then when Tower Fantasy steals the combat from another game, see how much better it is than wherever they stole it from. And also, if you're saying Tower Fantasy's combat is clunky, well, technically some of the moves are stolen from Honkai, which means Honkai has to be clunky too. So let's just keep that in mind there, buddy. Of appeal. And it's such a shame because they clearly are a high budget game. Why not invest more into the character design? I'm not sure. Basically, the social credit of Tower Fantasy doesn't look so good. So my prediction for the global version of Tower Fantasy is pretty much the same. People are currently getting hyped for the game because this game shares a lot of similarity to Genshin Impact. And Genshin player will try the game just to realize the game is not as good as Genshin. And it's not Tower Fantasy. I'm about to vomit, bro. Please stop saying that, dude. Dude, if I had to go in Genshin one more time and play a, a shitty version of Mario Party, a shitty version of Fall Guys, bro, I'm about to fucking vomit, bro. Oh my god. Stop with this shit, man. It's an MMO versus a single player experience. Jesus Christ. Honestly, Fall, honestly, it's just because Genshin's too good. Genshin. Stop! is too ambitious and other company simply cannot compete Don't i can't handle it i can't handle it i cannot handle it when people praise that fucking game so much when there are so many issues from day one that have never been fixed it's fucking ridiculous and when you sit there and you just fucking preach and it's the best game ever you're the reason why it's never gonna get better
I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry, chat. Oh my God. Don't take this video as me telling you not to play the game. You can honestly still enjoy the game. Try it out and see if it's for you. But I'm just here to inform you what happened. Don't say inform you like what you're saying is factual information. Why don't you say give you my fucking opinion? Went over on the China side. The revenue for Tower Fantasy currently on China is honestly growing. I mean, not as good as. Holy tits, what is that? Jesus. It used to be, but for a gacha game, they are doing alright. Although I'm not too knowledgeable about how much money they are spending to maintaining the game, they're earning about the same as Arknight, even though it's a little bit lower. So yeah, that's about it. Peace. Okay, uh, that video absolutely pissed me the fuck off. Uh, yeah, I think I think Tower of Fantasy stealing other shit isn't good. Uh, they're taking a lot of shortcuts for like their, I guess, promotional material or some of their designs. I think they've corrected the majority of those. Uh, the combat could use a couple tweaks, like some timers for some abilities. Uh, but other than that, it's an MMO combat and almost every MMO combat is janky. I don't know a single MMO with um, completely smooth combat and PvE and PvP. The majority of it is press one button, wait for it to cast bar, uh, run backwards at the same time while firing backwards your ice lance. Like, I, I literally don't know one. Maybe Lost Ark PvE, but then I think Lost Ark PvP is honestly pretty cringe. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, yeah, I feel like this video is incredibly fucking biased. Uh, good God, you could hear Genshin's fucking dick flopping around in his mouth. I could practically hear, this video sponsored you by Hoyoverse. Like, listen, 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 listen. It's not that Genshin is so bad it pisses me off. It's about how much better Genshin could fucking be that pisses me the fuck off, okay? So when I hear this shit, because you know there's so many issues with that goddamn game, it's insanity. And the majority of things that this guy said, Genshin did the same shit. Genshin also had buggy ass shit, okay? Genshin is also about some questionable ass tweets. Genshin has fucking also stolen so much shit, it's ridiculous. But this fucking biased cock sucking is insane. Get that fucking word inform out of your mouth and just admit that you wanted to fucking hate on Tower of Fantasy because you're a Genshin goomer, bro. Good, good lord, you can smell the semen off that video. Ugh. Sorry. Hey, nerf of me, I'm sure you're great. Just what you said really pissed me off. I don't think anything less of you as a human being. Uh, but I'm sorry, that video just, God, that annoyed the shit out of me. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh -oh. This is probably a YouTube video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. Follow me on Twitch, I can force a tech, I'll catch you on the next one.